Coach, upon your rewatch, what were your impressions of yesterday's loss? Um, they scored on the first three possessions, Seattle's offense, uh, too many alignment um, and technique and, and mental errors in that, those first three possessions that led to scores. So they started fast. We didn't start as fast. Um, you know, then we came down, scored offensively. We committed several turnovers. Um, I think the first few possessions were like they had uh, Seattle had touchdown, touchdown. Then the next two possessions for Seattle, they had a punt and a punt. Um, we had a punt, then we had a, uh, uh, a touchdown, and then we had another punt, and we had another punt, and then we had an interception. So um, we didn't get off to the fast start that we wanted to get off to. Um, I thought in the second half we played better football in the fourth quarter. Um, uh, in the fourth quarter, I think we had uh, defensively, um, and let me see if I recall this right. Second half, we had a they had a punt, we had an interception, uh, we held them to a field goal on a sudden change. Um, they had a touchdown and then a punt, and then we had a four-minute drive that we could have gotten off the field uh, with uh, to to give our offense a, a chance to score and tie the game. Um, offensively, we had a field goal, uh, an interception, interception, I think, and then we had a punt and then two touchdowns. So we finished the fourth quarter strong offensively. Um, so my impressions were we can do this. Uh, it's, we have to stay focused um, in, all three, in all three phases of, the, of, the, of our team with our special teams because I thought they played pretty solid football, uh, our defense, and then our offense. Harry, do you think you'll you'll stick with Kyle Allen, a quarterback, or will you consider Will Greer? Or when, when, will, when will you make that decision? Probably make that decision on Wednesday. You know, it's, over the next two days, we'll evaluate, continue to evaluate, um, and you'll know on Wednesday. So there is a chance that Will will start Sunday, just to clarify. We'll evaluate. Okay. And you said you wanted to take a look at the film to evaluate Kyle Allen. When you looked at it, what did you see? What did, how was his performance yesterday? Yeah. Um, obviously, I enjoyed this fourth quarter, and um, I do believe that there were some plays out there to be made, um, and at times he didn't make those plays uh, that needed to be made, um, and that goes along with the position of being a quarterback. And so um, that's, that's what we're looking at right now is that um, did he have enough protection? Did, was the decision-making, you know, uh, uh, smart decision-making? Uh, and so we'll evaluate that and, and see. But I thought he did some solid things. And then, obviously, not so good things. Harry, here, taking it out of the context of comparing him to, to <coughs> Kyle and the evaluation that you'll have to make, but what have you guys as a coaching staff seen from Will Greer from rookie minicamp up until this point? Uh, it's hard to say from rookie minicamp up to this point because, you know, I'm going back against, you know, we're, he's running, he's an incoming rookie going against our defense, just learning the offense. Um, I know from a, he's our scout team or look team quarterback, and so he's gotten better with running the look team plays. Um, he's gotten better with command in the huddle. Um, the coaches always talk to him about the reads uh, that he has to make, which are similar to when plays are similar uh, to the plays that our offense runs. Um, I think the biggest thing that you have to take into account is that the voice, okay? Uh, when you make a change, or if you make a change, okay, that voice that speaks to you, uh, his cadence command, um, that would be different. Um, you know, there's a number of other different factors that would be different if you did do something such as that. But saying that, when I see him um, again at work, looking on the look squad, um, his voice inflection is good because we ask him to do some hard counts. We ask him to do some things that the opponent quarterbacks will do. Um, his ability to scramble and throw on the run has gotten better. So, um, you know, he's progressing as a rookie. He's, he's not there yet, but he's progressing. Does he get any non-scout team snaps? Does he like get to do any Panther plays, or is everything scout team? Yeah, he does get to do some Panther plays. Yes. Like, what percentage of the snaps do you think would be? I wouldn't give you a percentage. Why? Why not give Will a look now with kind of everything fast forwarding to looking ahead at young players for next year? Why not go ahead and give him a shot to see what he can do? 
We may, we may not. Though. Like I say, we're, we're still evaluating that. So. I understand that. But I'm just saying why even this week when things weren't going well, why not go ahead and give him a look? Why not this week? Well, we felt like it, the, it was a two-score game, and we felt like, hey, Kyle gave us the best opportunity with that two-score game to come back and win the football game. I think we did have an opportunity to win the football game in the fourth quarter. Did we not? Even Kyle, I think in his comments after the game, said he, he wasn't doing the things to give this team a chance to win. Yeah. Well, again, we felt like he gave us the best opportunity with the game plan that we had to win the football game. Anything else? I wanted to ask you about a couple of young players that got some additional snaps on defense, um, F.A. Abada and Jermaine Carter. Mm -hmm. um, what led to the decision to, to give them additional looks, and then what did you see from them on tape? Yeah, um, F.A., um, bigger man at the defensive end position, uh, stout at the point of attack. I thought he did do some things good at the point of attack from that standpoint. And then, obviously, he does have some good pass rush skills. So uh, we used, we thought of it in, in a sense of, of him being a defensive end, playing a six technique, and then playing a little bit of a nine technique. We moved our scheme around a little bit in base this week, okay? And we felt like giving him that opportunity to, since we moved our scheme around, that would help him, and it did. It helped him. Jermaine also, we uh, moved to Sam linebacker, uh, gave him an opportunity to play, uh, to prove it, that he could be a player in this league. I thought he did some solid things. The other, th the, one of the things that he needs to improve on is his pass, uh, pass coverage. And so we weren't, he wasn't, he wasn't poor, but you know, he wasn't great in pass coverage. He was just, you know, he was good. And so uh, we think the next week he'll be even better. For young guys like that, is pass coverage something that it, it's a big jump from college to the pros because you know the guys that they're facing are just on a different level from week to week? I would say that when you play a guy like Russell Wilson, who is very accurate throwing the football, and he has skilled receivers that are very precise in running their routes, and they hit certain landmarks, that would be a, a step up from the college game, definitely, yes. Hey, Perry, um, with, with Will Greer kind of commenting last week that he hasn't really, because of the nature of the, you know, someone's got to run the first team, someone's got to run the scout team every single day, it meant, it's meant he hasn't really been able to get in with the first team offense at all. What can the challenges be, um, hypothetically, and in, in, in Kyle had to face it as well early on, um, what can the challenges be for a young quarterback coming in and, and developing that rapport? Um, in case of a shift, and if and if Kyle is a better example to draw on from what he had to do earlier in the year, uh, I think that's kind of a similar situation as well. Yeah, it's like I said before. It's really the voice, um, the snap count. You know, can he get everybody on the same page with the snap count so no one's jumping? Um, just hearing the play come out of a person's mouth in the huddle. I, that's what Kyle had to do. Okay, and I can just remember being at practice and when they when they heard the voice, he, he has a different cadence than Cam. Uh, definitely it's a different cadence than Cam's cadence, you know, so the guys had to get in, in tune to that, you know. Um, I stand in the huddle when he calls the plays, and um, when he calls the plays, it's a certain dialect and tone that he uses and a rhythm and flow that he uses when he calls the plays. So when the guys break the huddle, they, they're they not coming back to hear, uh, what what did you say? So it's just little little mechanics of the game like that. And then obviously getting the looks that you need to get throughout the course of the week in order to be successful. And it, it's a week-by-week <coughs> week process, I know, but, but in order to get a guy fully comfortable in doing that, does that take some time usually, or is it something some guys just can pick up pretty naturally? I think it takes time. But, you know, some are better than others. It's, you know, you're, you're human, you know. Some are better than others, but it, it does take time. Again, you're working with ten other men in the huddle, and he's the 11th guy, and he's the guy that touches the ball every single play. Last year when we saw Cam go on IR, he stayed on the sideline with the earpiece and it was kind of, you know, helping out his quarterbacks or, or whatnot. Any reason why he hasn't done that this year? I know, he, I think he did it for one game or like down the stretch why he hasn't been down there. No, I couldn't comment on that. Brian Burns has seen fewer snaps. Does that still go back to you know, that hand injury or is it just right now, just him kind of, you know, adjusting? Because he, he's played a lot towards the beginning of the season. Is there anything to that, him seeing fewer snaps right now? No, uh, I think he played a, a number of snaps against Atlanta. And then last, in this ball game, I, I, did, I think he had fewer snaps. And it, 
it's just the, the rotation uh, that the D-line coaches that we used, uh, trying to get him in on really some situational football, okay? And so it's, you know, it's neither here nor there. It's uh, uh, sometimes he gets more and sometimes he gets less. Harry, what did you think of Scott Turner's uh, play calling and, and just overall game plan yesterday as he went to his second week? Yeah, I thought it was really solid. I thought he did a great job of getting, you know, Curtis the ball. I thought he did a great job of uh, utilizing Christian. Um, uh, he gave some different looks. Uh, he gave some different formations, motions, and shifts to keep them off balanced. Uh, and uh, I was very pleased with the game plan. Did you switched up the base defense a little bit this week. Was that was based on who you uh, who you were facing the Seahawks, or was that kind of as you start to make tweaks to this defense as the head coach, that was kind of your your idea. Trying to use our personnel, really. Um, you know, we've lost a number of defensive players um, uh, that, that are big guys, and so just trying to utilize our defensive players um, and put them in a position to be successful. Right. How would you assess where Brian Burns is as a player at this point, as a rookie, obviously, as was mentioned, um, started so hot? clearly has the ability to rush the passer, but where, where do you just kind of see him in his development at this point? Yeah, he's got unlimited potential, uh, and that's what it is right now is potential. Um, it, it's just like most rookies that play. Um, they hit a point in the season where do they are they hitting a rookie wall or not. I don't think he is. I think, you know, with the injury, it slowed him down a little bit, so he's he wasn't able to use his hand and strike and shed and get off blocks in the run game as well as we would like for him to. Now he's got the hand back, so he has, has to learn how to strike, shed, get off blocks, and do that again. And so that's just a natural progression in my mind, uh, being able to use the hand once again and, and play football, and hopefully his reps will go up. You might not be able to, this might get in too much to your game plan, so you might not be able to answer it, but but uh, in terms of the situational plays that you'd like to see him in and that, and that you guys would like to rotate him in, are, are those strictly speed rush? Are those different? Um, I assume it's not so much, you know, trying to set an edge or, or anything like that. It could be both. No, it's just, it's we have, since we moved to like, uh, uh, more of a 4-3 look this week, okay? Um, what we tried to do was, again, utilize our personnel as best we possibly could. We tried to put some guys in the in, at the defensive end position that were stout at the point of attack in cer certain situations. We put them in uh, certain guys uh, on the edge that could be stout in like nine techniques at the point of attack, okay, as well as rush the passer. Um, we didn't get very many. We didn't get as many snaps of the base defense as we thought we would. Okay, so that sometimes that goes into the account of how much you play and how much you don't play on those base snaps. That's good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.